Hello all, in this video we'll cover the process of opening up a Dell Chromebook. If you have already been in CSI and you have already opened up a Chromebook, then working on these might seem familiar with a few key differences. We will start off by taking a look around the outside of the device. On the left side, there's a charging port, full-size HDMI output, two USB 3.0 ports, and a headphone jack. On the right side, there's an SD card slot and a Kensington lock port. The screen is 11.6 inches and has an HD resolution. The keyboard is a standard Chromebook keyboard, but it's more comfortable and responsive than other Chromebooks. Now let's start getting into the inside of the Chromebook. First off, we have seven screws for the back cover. These screws are noticeably larger and thicker than Samsung screws, so there's a less chance of stripping off the top of the screws with the screwdriver. We also don't have to worry about removing rubber feet to unscrew hidden hardware. We simply remove the seven screws, pry open the back cover, and get to the internals. Four screws hold the three cell 50 watt hour battery in place. The connector has nine colored cables that connect to the motherboard. Disconnect the battery connector straight outward. The speakers are connected to each other with black and red cables, and the speaker on the right connects them both to the motherboard. The keyboard and trackpad ribbon cables connect to the motherboard under a flap. Lift the flap and gently pull the cable straight outward. To disconnect the LCD ribbon, simply pull straight up by the black holder. The Wi-Fi antenna have one tiny pin that can easily be damaged, so be careful when disconnecting the cables. These should be pulled straight up. You can use a nylon spudger tool to help lever the pins off the connectors. In order to remove the motherboard, you must remove the heat sink and fan as well. This is different from the Samsung motherboards that did not have the heat sink screwed onto the casing of the Chromebook, and you cannot remove the motherboard without unscrewing the fan. To prevent the fan from dangling, move the Wi-Fi antenna from the clips that keep them in place. Lift the fan to give enough space to disconnect the fan connector from the motherboard. Another difference is that the right hinge must be unscrewed from the motherboard so it can be lifted from the casing. But notice that the HDMI port has a plastic edge on top that prevents the motherboard from being able to come straight off. There is also a plastic protrusion that keeps the motherboard in its position. Remove the motherboard and angle carefully. Once the motherboard is off the casing, you can remove the ribbon cable that connects the daughterboard to the motherboard. This connector is similar to the ones that receive the keyboard and trackpad cables. Again, lift the flap and pull it straight out. The 16GB solid state drive does not need to be unscrewed, it is built onto the motherboard. One major difference in the Dell Chromebook is that the charging port is not soldered onto the motherboard. It can simply be unplugged and replaced without the need for soldering. The daughter board has three screws and two ribbon connectors. Open the flaps, disconnect the cables, and remove the screws to lift the daughter board. Notice the SD card slot is part of the daughter board. Now the entire inside of the Chromebook should be empty. In order to put everything back in its place, follow the steps in reverse. Don't forget to apply thermal paste between the heat sink and CPU. Also, make sure that the screws go in their proper place. Thanks for watching.